I don't know. I just don't know. Quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, so what have we got? Who, me? Yeah, have you hit anything? Let's hear it. Ping Drupa. Inglewarp. Kakanoma. That's all I got. I like the. Yeah, it's kind of onomatopoeic. Well, I, I don't know. Well, sure, it needs some punching up later, but you gotta get through the through line first. But. Is it Hamlet? Don't ask me. I'm just a chimp. They could have given us a clue or something. Yeah, or a story conference. But that defeated the whole purpose of the experiment. I know, I know, I know. Three monkeys typing into infinity will sooner or later produce Hamlet. Right. Completely by chance. And Dr. David Rosenbaum up in that booth is going to prove it. But what do we owe this Rosenbaum guy? The guy who stands outside those bars and tells people, that one's Milton, that one's Swift, and that one's Kafka, just to get a laugh. But what is a Kafka anyways? Why am I a Kafka? Search me. What is a Kafka? All his four-eyed friends should think it's a stitch. And how are we supposed to write Hamlet, even if we don't know what it is? Okay, okay, so the chances are a little slim. Yeah, and this from a guy who's supposed to be smart. This from a guy at Columbia University. The way I see it, there's a providence that oversees our pages. Rough draft them how we may. What about you, Milton? What have you got? Let's see. Of man's first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden tree whose moral taste brought death Hey, that's death. good. It's got rhythm. It really sings. Yeah? But is it Shakespeare? Who cares? She's got a real voice there. Does Dr. Rosenbaum care about anybody's voice? Does he care about anybody's individual creativity? Let's look at this from Rosenbaum. No! He brings us in here, produces a copy, and then all he wants is a clean draft of somebody else's stuff. We're getting peanuts here to be somebody else's hack. Writing is a month's game anyway, Swifty. Well, it has made me mad. Why not just buckle down and get the projector riff? Set the schedule for yourself. Type in mornings for a couple of hours, then take a break. Let the old juices flow. Do a couple more in the afternoon, then retire for a shot of papaya and some poo throwing. What's the big deal? I mean, if this Rosenbaum guy was worth anything, we'd be working on word processors, not these antiques. He's lucky he'd find three to type this good. And then he treats us like those misfits at the Bronx Zoo. I mean, a tire swing? What does he take us for? I like the tire swing. I think it's a very nice touch. I can't work under these conditions. No wonder I'm producing garbage. How does the rest of yours go, Milton? What, this? Yeah, read us some more. Blah, blah, blah. Whose moral taste brought death into the... Blammer, Graham, Bid, Socks, Knockers, Tinkerbell. What do you think? Well, I make him as good. Well, I don't know. What's the matter? Is it tone? I knew this was kind of a stretch for me. Well, it just doesn't have the same expressive intensity and pungent lyricism as the first part. Well, sure, it needs rewriting. What doesn't? This is a rough draft after all. Lights on! This bit. Are they watching? What? Are they watching? I don't know, I can't see, I got my paws over my eyes. What's I the point of this? Why didn't they videotape our bowel movements? What? Lights off. So, how about you friends, what have you got? Well... K... K K... K K K K K... K K K K... K, 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 K. What is that? Postmodernism? 20 lines of that. 
At least he'll screw up his data. Tony lines up that, and I went dry. I got blocked. I felt like I was repeating myself. Okay, I don't even understand what I'm doing here in the first place. I'm not a writer, I'm a monkey. I'm supposed to be singing on branches and digging up ants and not sitting on this fluorescent light 10 hours a day. It sure is a long way home to the garden's sweet Africa where lawns and level dawns and flots graves the tender herbs of the sweetly interposed dead. Paradise, wasn't it? Lost! Lost! Lost. I'm trying to deal with some of this in this new piece here, but it's all still pretty close to the bone. Just because they can keep us locked up, they think they're more powerful than we are. They are more powerful than we are. Just because they can control the means to production, they think they can suppress the workers. Things are how they are, Sifty. What are you going to do about it? Hey, how come you're always so ready to justify the ways of Rosenbaum to the apes? Do you have a key to that door? No. Do you have an independent food source? No. So call me a collaborator. I happen to be professional. It wrote some bomb once. Hamlet, I'll give it a shot. Just don't forget, we're not astrophysicists. We're not brain surgeons. We're chimps. And for apes in captivity, this is not a bad gig. What's really scary is, if we stick around here long enough, we're going to evolve into Rosenbaum. Evolve into Rosenbaum? Brush up on your Darwin, baby. We're more than kin, less than kind. Anybody got banana? I'm all out. Don't look at me. I'm not gonna satisfy those boys with the old banana eating chimp act. Don't be a sap, Sifty. You gotta use them. Use the system. Whatever do you mean? Watch me while I put my antique disposition on. <laughs> See what I mean? Galleries too, my fave. <laughs> Should have thrown in a cupid doll for that performance. Well, it got results, didn't it? Sure, sure, you do your bowser routine and they give you a banana. Last week I told my computer and they gave me an orange. The problem was, you didn't eat them. You took a dump on them. It was a political statement. You made your statement and I got my banana. All sorts of ensels, right? Well, that's the only way we know they're watching. Huh? We perform. We break typewriters, we type another page, and a banana appears. At least, it's a sign that somebody out there is paying attention. A resident philosopher. But what will happen if one of us actually does it? Here we are, set down to prove the inadvertent virtues of randomness, and to produce something we wouldn't even recognize if it passed right through our hands. But what will happen if one of us actually does it? Will we really be released? Will they give us the key to the city? And a ticket tape parade? Or will they move us on to the Elias? Why didn't they pick Hamlet? What's Hamlet to them? Are they to Hamlet that we should care? Oh boy, there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the proud man's cotton loomily? The pangs despise love, the laws delay. Hey, Sefty! Have a banana. No, I wish I could get Rosenbaum in here to see how he does it producing Hamlet. Wait. That's it. What? That's it. Forget about this Hamlet garbage. What about revenge? Revenge? On Rosenbaum? Who else? Hasn't he bereft us of our homes and families? Stepped in between us and our expectations? How would we do it? Easy. We lure him in here to look at our computers like something's wrong. Yeah. But we poison the keys. Oh boy. 
Sure, some juice of the cursed hip honor spread liberally over the keyboard ought to do the trick. Great. And if that doesn't work, we invite him in for a ride and invite him the tire swing. Plus, I challenge him to a duel. Brilliant. Can't you see, in the course of combat, I casually graze my rapier of the poison typewriter keys and a hit, a palpable hit, for a reserve rule laid by a glass with venomous distillment. We'll put the pellet with the poison and the vessel with the pestle. Listen, I gotta get back to work. The man's gonna want his pages. It's not a bad idea, but... Come on, guys. This is the goods. It's all hopeless, Hifty. I'm on to something here. Where was I? Bed sock, knockwear, Tinkerbell. The readiness is all, I guess. Right, just let me know when that K button gives out, honey. Okay, you two serfs, go back to work. I'll do all the thinking around here. Swifty revenge! Tinkerbell, Schnuckelschwan, hemorrhoid. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Schnuckush one. Act one. Scene one. Elsinore Castle, Denmark. Hemorrhoid. Enter. Bernardo and Francisco. Pomegranate. Bernardo says, who's there? Bazooka! 